to me someday, but we like it. A man who is a friend of mine, who was the greatest mayor in the history of New York City. The first year, I've never seen anything like it. New York was crime-infested. We had problems. We had problems like nobody would believe. And Rudy went in there, and he did the job. And people loved him for it. It wasn't like, oh, gee, he's a horrible person. People loved Rudy Giuliani. He was a great, great mayor. So thank you, Rudy, for being here. And the first person that I put on on the campaign, he was driving me wild. He said, I'm saying you can win, sir. You can win. I'm telling you, you can win. He loves this state. He's from this state. He said, you can win, sir. I'm just telling you. And I had him on for month after month. He'd come drive me crazy. He said, you can win. You can win. You can win. And finally, we said, let's give it a shot. And I had Corey. I had Hope. I had just a couple of people. We had a rather lean and mean staff. But Corey Lewandowski loves your state, loves New Hampshire. He was the first one that talked about us possibly winning the whole big ball game. And he's tough, and he's smart, and I'm hearing he's thinking about running for the Senate from New Hampshire. I think it'd be tough to beat. I'll tell you one thing, he'll go into Washington and he's going to have you in mind. He's going to do a job if he does do it, so we'll see what happens. He hasn't made up his mind yet, but he would be, uh, he would be fantastic. And I guess it's something you go back and you talk to your family, you talk to your wife, and you make a decision. They will say, are you going to support him? I said, I don't know if he's running. So, Corey, let us know, please, if you don't mind. Our shared Republican agenda is pro-worker, pro-jobs, pro-family, pro-growth, and 100% pro-American. For decades and decades, the permanent politicians in Washington pursued the very opposite. They sold out our workers. You see it, you know it better than any place. When I talk about the horrors of NAFTA, the horrors of trade deals, I, I mean, I'm sorry to tell you this, I usually refer to New Hampshire. Nobody took it worse than New England, and nobody took it worse than New Hampshire. Now, here's the good news. I would never let that happen again, and Chris will never let that happen again. Is there a doctor, please? Doctor in the house? Thank you. Doctor in the house. Please, doctor. Please. Thank you very much. Take your time. And take your time. 